what's up guys uh thank you very much for watching electrica and i'm really glad uh okay now uh today this video uh is interesting and uh what i want to achieve today is uh to self hold a relay okay we've done all these other circuits and we've been uh probably you've only seen uh contactor being self hold okay but now what about a relay what do you think about it hmm? because it's have some similarities with a contactor and uh where low current is going to be used you better use a relay instead of a contactor because a relay it's very small and it's uh you know it's convenient uh, to wire but only where uh, current uh, really is not that high because this particular one is uh, 10 amps so 10 amps is a significant uh, amount of current yeah uh, that you can really uh, you're able to use uh, this now this is a base and uh, one thing I want to talk about these bases is that uh, when you're using it you don't have to cram for example what we're going to do in this video if you're going to do the same project then you must make sure that you read the template you read this diagram here on your relay to know which contact goes to what contact on the base okay because there's some other relay you bring here and because this same relay uh, the supply is 2 and 10 and then you find the other relay you find maybe the supply is 11 and 10 okay yeah so you always have to be keen to look here all right now if today i don't have a circuit if you're wondering where to find a circuit uh this video here uh how to self hold a contactor it's right there link in the description you can watch that and the circuit is just the same okay all right now let's get into the video now uh i'm going to use a breaker because you need to have a breaker in your control always okay and then we have an indicator light that will help us to indicate when uh we test our circuit so we begin with this now i'm beginning with connecting the buttons okay breaker to one side of the stop throw it then we've linked it to start okay now we are just going to put two wires here one wire will be will help us to retain and the second wire here will help us to give us the initial start of our circuit okay okay so let us put these two wires here second one now you see we have two wires coming from our switching system our these button is this wire that comes from this side where we've looked it's will give us the retain and then this one it will give us the initial start okay now back to our base now uh if you look here we, are, we, we want the thing to self hold so we are going to look for normally open on this relay now if you look here we have a contact number one between contact number one which should be now the common between contact number one and four it's normally closed and between one and three it's normally open so that's what we want so all right so now what do we do this is contact number three so we just got to connect our uh, the retaining wire to contact number three okay initial start wire to contact number one okay yeah like that now again what we 
need now to do is to loop from contact number one to contact number two okay to contact number two which happens to be our a1 of our relay okay now we have to loop here Now this loop goes to contact number two. Now here is our A1 of our relay. Okay. Now we are heading into a very cool direction. Now we need to connect our neutral, which is number 10 from here. The neutral is number 10. Okay. As you see now this circuit is complete okay but now we need to comparate our light here okay so we have to give it these wires okay our light is ready now what we are going to do is we have to look for normally open again on this base. Now, if you look at here, uh, we have 11 and 9 which is open and 11 and 8 which is closed. So we only need 11 and 9. Okay. So what we are going to do is uh, this or this. We are going now to get this arrow here uh, the life of the light we will hook it here to number 11 okay so we've hooked it here to number 11 and now we have to loop from our retaining wire we have to loop and get power here and then we feed it number nine because when the circuit closes number nine will take power to number 11 and our light will glow okay so we are getting power here get this even from here okay but we just need somewhere convenient so we're just feeding this one here number nine okay and now the remaining one this is a neutral so we just Put it here to the A2 of this relay. This. Okay. So now it looks like uh, we are everything is okay. Okay. Uh, remember, I referred you to the circuit in the contact self holding video. The link in this is in the description. Okay. Now here is our relay you just sit it on the base okay? like this now let's see what happens is so we've already uh, supplied our circuit and let's switch on the breaker the breaker is on so we have to kick start here and yes this you see the relay has an indicator light some don't have but the relay has an indicator light so let me put this light here such that you see now we're off so you're able to see that the light is going off and also the relay is going off okay so you start and you see it retains i don't have to keep on pressing okay and then i stop okay Okay, now you see there are some contacts in here, here, that when I switch off, 
we go back. You're able to see that. Alright. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like, and also share to your friend if you really know that he's very much interested in, in these electrical, you know, simple circuits, okay? Please, I also have another video about the relay. Feel free to watch it. Also, we have a bunch of videos on this channel. Please feel free to peruse through. And you always leave me a comment and tell me what you think about uh, this video here. What else can we do? Okay. All right. Thank you very much and have yourself a blessed yeah, day. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm out.